to Malaysia for those of you who just come back again and for those of you who just arrived in Malaysia, this very beautiful country, welcome to Malaysia. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. This is the operator of the culture of the media. This is the seat of the Talib Namai. Secretary General of the World Tourism Organization. Honorable Muhammad Atomas, Tony Aki Satsuri, the Deputy Minister of Tourism and Culture in Asia. His Excellency Fancy Dr. Ong Kei, the Secretary General of the Ministry of Tourism and Culture in Asia. All distinguished guests, all ambassadors, as well as Council Generals in the name and the Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, Good morning to everyone. First, let me on behalf of the Penang State Government welcome all speakers and delegates to this prestigious 4th World Tourism Conference 2016 in a typical Malaysian manner. Selamat datang ke Pulau Pinang. Now we are honoured to be hosting this prestigious conference, and we would like to extend our utmost appreciation to Dr. Sri Nasri Aziz, Minister of Tourism and Culture in Malaysia, as well as the World Tourism Organization, for choosing the UNESCO World Heritage City of Georgetown as the host. Thank you very much. Now, Penang is an industrialized state in Malaysia with 49% contribution to GDP from the services sector, mainly tourism and shared services outsourcing, and 45% from manufacturing, mainly electronics, medical devices, and LEDs. As one of the prime tourist destinations in Malaysia, Penang is well served with good connectivity, transportation links, and world-class hotels and lodgings that offers up to 20,000 rooms in Penang. Over the past few years, hotel occupancy has gone up, and our Penang International Airport is the second fastest growing airport in Malaysia after Kuala Lumpur. The services and tourism sector is growing in importance, and we in Penang have tried to develop world-class facilities such as restoration of heritage houses, theme parks, green parks, shopping malls, and Southeast Asia's first underground convention center, SPICE, Subterranean Penang International Convention and Exhibition Center. We have also the oldest British school in Southeast Asia, first built in 1816, even earlier than the establishment of Singapore which will be celebrating its bicentennial this year. Penang is known not only for our internationally renowned heritage and claim of Georgetown, but also for, for the celebration of diversity and harmony, with the famous Georgetown Festival, a month-long extravaganza of art and cultural performances. Further, there are beautiful natural attractions where we are only a 15 minutes drive, either from the beach or from the hills. We have also world-class tourist sites such as Penang Hill, Gurney Drive Tourist Bells, the beach areas of Batu Fringi, complete with theme parks and an outstanding butterfly farm in Antonio. We have also art galleries, niche museums, as well as our sites tech buildings and digital libraries that teachers can use. Of course, who can forget the wonderfully glorious food, widely acknowledged as the best street food in the world. For those who love durians, Penang also has the best durians in the world. And all this is available at very attractive prices with full value for money. And we always say that if you are in Penang, make sure to leave Penang with one extra kilogram in body weight. Otherwise, 
you have not been to Penang. So don't worry about your diet, just enjoy yourself. But best of all, I think apart from our food and our natural attractions, best of all is the people of Penang, who welcome visitors with warmth and generosity. After all, Penang has been a cosmopolitan and international city for over 200 years beginning when the British first took over Penang in 1786. Small wonder we have received international accolades all over from New York Times, Lonely Planet, CNN. Having the best food, best place to retire, best for discerning and budget travellers, and even Yahoo Travel. Listed Penang has one of the top eight islands in the world that you must explore before you die. <laughs> We are all here in Penang. We all can die happy. <laughs> now that is why this World Tourism Conference is important so that we can continue to share insights, ideas and best practices among some of the best minds in the world. Penang is privileged to host such a renowned event and honoured to be given the opportunity to showcase our famous attractions. And I think our most famous attraction is our diversity. The ability of the Malay, Chinese, Indian, Iban, and Kazakhstan communities to live together peacefully. <laughs> Just now we have, thought, we have seen the natural, cultural dance and performances brought specially by Yakoma Dato Sri Muhammad Nasri Aziz to showcase this diversity and the multicultural fabric of Malaysia. We would like to explore how we can make the acceptance of diversity as a tourist magnet where tolerance, harmony and mutual respect for our differences is celebrated. My sincere hope is that all of you will have the opportunity to experience the wonderful and diversified Malaysian culture and bring home wonderful memories of a clean, green, safe and healthy Penang to cherish. I will also share this and offer my gratitude to the Minister, Dr. Sri Nasri Aziz, for making this conference possible. Let us give him a hearty to have an enjoyable and productive conference. Thank you very much. Thank you, have, ladies and gentlemen, a very brief introduction of Penang, what Penang is all about. My Kong Chief Minister of Penang, what can I say? You spoke like a true tourism person. <laughs> You're one of us now, correct? <laughs> I've seen many political leaders in my career, but I've seen very few people that speak with passion about promoting their district, their city, their country. You know what I mean? We definitely would take an effort, but not because we have to discipline the environment. We have to more than once. <laughs> I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate the state government of Penang, especially Another dear friend of mine, Mr. Lee Kuan Yin, for the unwavering support in uh, helping me to make Penang a destination for a top mind destination for all when they come to this part of the world. <laughs> Penang is, of course, the oldest uh, destination. Malaysian tourism, and um, when I first became minister, I inherited all the decisions made by the previous uh, minister, and that was uh, the choice of Malacca to be the, uh, the, uh, the place for the third uh, conference, the conference that we are having now. But Penang is my choice, my personal choice. And uh, when I 
Okay, Minister. Uh, this conference has been held every three years. So it was only natural for me as a minister responsible uh, to decide on the next uh, city. I chose uh, Penang. Um, the biggest charm, the reason why I chose Penang was because the chief minister is a dear friend of mine. <laughs> Thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen.